it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 24th, 25th and 26th of May. And um, I'm picking a card from the Fairy deck, the Healing with the Fairies deck. And the card for Friday is Raising Your Standards. So this whole week, here we go, this whole week we've been looking at um, the connection between ourselves and our hearts, making choices from the heart and how we allow the head to interfere, how we make judgments. And really it's about not overthinking things, about coming into our feelings much more. And the message for today, I feel, with regard to raising our standards is very much about coming into our hearts and asking ourselves, okay, does this feel good? Does it not feel so good? And rather than making things fit when they don't actually feel so good, moving towards what does feel good, what does feel better. So it's also, you know, I'm being reminded to keep telling people that it doesn't mean you have to do drastic things. When you know that it's time to raise your standards, you just do. When you know it's time to trust your heart more, you just do, you just know that. So try not to see these things as, oh, here we go, Here's another thing that I'm being told to do. Here's another thing that means I'm going to have to get rid of this person or get rid of that situation. I'm going to have to leave my job now. It's time to be following my purpose. I'm not stepping up. I'm not being a light worker. I'm not being true to myself. These things are a guiding tool. And it's really important to remind us all that when we talk about being in our hearts, being connected with our hearts, there's only love, there's understanding, there's forgiveness, there's no judgment there in the heart. So Today, Friday, is going to be a good day to feel our way into our hearts and decide where do we need to raise our standards, not only in terms of moving towards what feels good, but also trusting ourselves. In other words, being kind to ourselves and stop judging ourselves quite so harshly. So raising our standards in terms of what we expect from life and from various situations and raising the standards of how we talk to ourselves. So if you've put up with something that's not so great, you don't have to tell yourself off for it. Raise your standards and say, okay, <laughs> that was really funny. I got that like, you know, maybe not wrong, but it wasn't so great. It wasn't perfect. And yeah, that's okay. That's actually just the way it is. That's just life. And now I'm going to move towards something better. I'm just going to feel that I deserve to move towards something better. Because when we judge ourselves for having made a mistake, the frequency goes down again. So to keep the frequency high, for me, actually raising our standards is raising our frequency. It's the same thing. Because the more we raise our frequency, the more we expect to stay feeling good. And when we don't feel so good, uh, we want to return to that quickly. So just keep being aware of that. It's like, you know, I heard someone say recently, once you've had a taste of heaven, you can never be without it again. You always want to go back to it. You always want to return to it. And really the acceleration we're experiencing on the planet is a part of that learning. One of the biggest things that we're learning is how to keep returning quickly to that taste of heaven, how to keep returning quickly to feeling good. And so for me, raising our standards is raising our vibration. Okay, so that's for Friday. And um, I'm going to go to the Ascended Masters for Saturday. Um, I'm going to try to hurry up a bit because I feel as if I'm rambling now. Crystals for Saturday. So crystals are something that I work with quite a lot with my clients because quite often we forget that they're a very powerful organic source of holding frequencies. So if we imbue them or charge, if you like, charge them with the frequency that we want to keep returning to, they will hold that frequency for us. And then when we come to work with them, meditate on them or just hold them or have them around our space, they will be holding that frequency. So for Saturday, if you really have struggled to be in your heart this week, I would say imbue your crystals with that vibration. So in other words, meditate on being in your heart. Wait until you really feel yourself sitting in that vibration. Wait until you feel that you just want to keep smiling and smiling and smiling. That's always a big clue that you're in your heart, smiling, laughing, just feeling good. So once you get into that state, 
hold a piece of rose quartz or something similar, something that will really hold a heart frequency. You might have other choices, pink or green usually. I mean, there are variations, but just stick with those to begin with and just hold two pieces, one in each hand, and just feel that vibration running through your body and going into your stones. And then just, I would say do that for 20 minutes and stay in that state for 20 minutes because you'll be programming programming them not only to hold that loving frequency but also to hold it for a long period of time so once you've done that put them around your space and there'll be a constant reminder so that's why I think we've got crystals for Saturday but I'm also hearing that I need to remind everyone that we are becoming much more like crystals in other words we hold frequencies much more easily so we are constantly absorbing frequencies and in a sense being programmed by all of these energies around us. So once again, it's really important to keep clearing our energy and to keep reprogramming ourselves with the frequency of our choosing. Okay, so that's for Saturday, crystals. Okay, so... Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with the Archangels deck again. Sorry, I was just... Um, <sighs> thinking my way through and now I'm feeling this is the right way to go so there you go that's how easily it can happen this card is for Sunday and it's all is well all is well and the Archangel Jeremiah says everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden hidden blessings you will soon understand so this is very much a card of the heart because what it's asking us to do is to surrender our fear to surrender our lack to suspend our disbelief to suspend our thinking and to just trust that all is well so that's the card for sunday and i'm just being drawn to this gold this golden light and the golden clothes and the golden wings and this is very much an angelic a reminder of the angelic frequency so if you have any trouble at all on sunday knowing that all is well i would say go back to your crystals sit with them and ask the angels to remind you that all is well ask them to come close to you it's really important for us to keep doing that not just to expect that we'll ask them to come close on Monday and they'll be there till Friday <laughs> but to keep asking for each individual thing okay so that's it for Sunday have a great weekend everyone and um, I'll be back next week I can't stop looking at that card I love it I hope you've had a nice week connecting with your heart or reconnecting or staying connected and um, here's the card all is well <laughs>